having passed the Electoral Act Amendment Bill 2021 by the National Assembly recently, where the electronic voting and transmission of electronic results were given a nod of approval. The President of Nigeria Society of Engineer, Engineer Babagana Muhammad, during a media chat disclosed to newsmen at Abuja that as engineers and problem solvers, they are ready to work towards the electronic voting and transmission of electronic results come 2023 as the country is no longer in the analog age. That's why we are engineers, is to solve challenges. It has happened. It's even, I'm happy that it's happening to us as a unit, not to the whole country. Because if it's happened to the whole country, it will be a disaster. Where do you start? The whole country will, will be on fire. But now this, this is a unit. So let it happen here. Let us know, go out as a test run. Let's run it. We are going the same e-voting, but this time around, we are going to protect our databases. We are going to protect our server space. That's how to go about it. Because you can't say there's a challenge and you are running away from, you want to go to the analog. No, the wall has moved forward. You cannot move backward. We must move forward with the wall. We are in the 21st century. No. No, 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 no. We have to go. We have to go. The lawmakers are engineers. They, they, no. The INEC is engineers who are working in INEC who are doing it. They are engineers. If, they can, if we engineers cannot put our house in order, cannot conduct a free, fair tribulation online, then there is a problem. Then there is a problem. The country cannot have it. And we are not ready to go into that. We are saying no. We must get it right. We must get it right. Once engineers got it right, every other person must get it right. These are matters of national interest. Because it has generated national interest. Cyber crime. Nigeria is going on election. Nigeria will go on election. And election is online. Fight. If I say oh, it's a national, it's an internal issue, let's resolve it in this house. If it happens 2023, who are going to solve the problem? Who is going to solve the problem? We don't want to go into that mess. He also expressed his dissatisfaction on the just concluded election by the association as over 400 emails were hacked, which led to the annulment of the said election and ordered for the next election to be conducted in the first quarter of the year 2022. From records available to me and announced at AGM was 406 hacking of our members' email and, and phone numbers. 406. And investigation is still ongoing because it, from records coming to me now, it's even more than 406. So how can I, as a president, work down 406 members cannot vote? This unprecedented occurrence is threatening the integrity of our, of our election and the integrity of Nigeria staff engineers, locally and internationally. As a responsible president who sought to uphold the ethics and integrity of the great and noble Nigeria staff engineers, I have no option than to declare the election conducted on December 9th, 2021, cancelled. And on behalf of the council, order a rerun of the election after provisions of adequate security for the society database. Meanwhile, I have invited the Department of State Security, DSS. This is a letter, a clear letter we have, I have sent to their office to investigate the cyber breach and hacking of the society database so as to identify the culprits, ensure their prosecution, and improve the security architecture of our database. I encourage my incoming president, Engineer TSG with the FNSC, to continue the process to its logical conclusion because it's a matter of integrity, not only for our society, but for the whole country called Nigeria. The election is to be done in the first quarter of 2022 and no inauguration of the executive committee members shall be performed. Only handing over to be done. Docas or Larry Waju Voice TV, Nigeria.